Uh, welcome to this tutorial about the formation of waterfalls and gorges along a river. So how does a waterfall form? Well it starts off really with a, a river which is flowing over bands of rock and the rock on top will be harder geology and the rock below will be relatively softer. And in this particular area here, because the water is flowing downwards, you're going to get a lot of hydraulic action so that there will become a more distinct profile in the river which has a vertical drop. So as the water flows downwards, in this area here, a lot of vertical erosion, um, particularly on the soft geology because it can be eroded um, more easily to create a waterfall which is falling water downwards uh, in the landscape. You'll get this very vertical profile, hard geology above softer geology. So the falling water will particularly start to erode this area here and through continuous erosion, the profile of the waterfall will look something like this with the water falling downwards, undercutting eroding the softer geology below and at the bottom really starting to erode through hydraulic action the base of the river to create a plunge pool. So the harder geology will sit precariously above the softer geology to create what we call an overhang and the softer geology below continually being undercut. to create a um, larger and deeper plunge pool. So the harder geology which sits precariously above the softer geology will eventually collapse down into the plunge pool. The overhang has gone and the whole of the waterfall profile will now look something like this. And we can see that the waterfall has now retreated or gone backwards down the river valley. So here is a time-lapse diagram of a waterfall which at one point flowed in position one but through hydraulic action and abrasion the waterfall has retreated and it now flows in position two like so and again through processes of erosion the waterfall retreats and it currently flows in position three. The whole waterfall has retreated uh, back up the river valley and this will eventually create a gorge which we will look at shortly. But before we look at a gorge I just want to highlight this um, quite good diagram here uh, which shows us the harder rock above the uh, softer rock below and the overhang which eventually collapses down into the plunge pool as boulders, fallen rocks, which abrade the uh, base of the plunge pool further. And this classic photograph is of high force waterfall um, along the River Tees. Um, here you can see the hard windsill geology um, above the softer geology below. So the retreating waterfall um, backwards through the uh, river valley creates a steep sided um, river valley and this is the gorge, this is a diagram version and here we can see a classic uh, photograph of a very steep sided gorge, here it is and in the background you can see evidence of the waterfall which has created this um, beautiful gorge and it's a process which um, takes thousands of years, years to form and they are formed very high up in the, the river valley in the, in the upper course um, near to the source of the river.